Hey everyone, welcome back to Rick's 135th scale models. My name is Rick. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a Ming model. This is going to be on the Panzer Halbitz 2000. Now they make two versions of this in 135th scale. They make this version which has the supplemental armor and it uh, also has the paint scheme pattern and the decals for the group that was sent to Afghanistan and they make an older version which does not have the supplemental armor for that version of the Panzer helmets. But we're, today we're going to be looking at this and you'll get an idea by this the two models are pretty much identical with the exception of the armor. So let's take a look at the model itself and the parts. So let's go through the instructions. Uh, instruction sheet is large and well uh, illustrated. Uh, you've got a neat picture in the front which shows the uh, one of the three Bundeswehr Panzer Hobbits they sent to Afghanistan with the barricades they put around them and then in the uh, desert pattern they had there. The instructions are uh, well laid out. You have multiple languages explaining the vehicle and some of the history of it. Uh, going through here. Uh, then you get to your standard tools needed part and then on to the build. And like most models, you start with the lower portion of the hull, the bogey wheels, the suspension parts, the uh, torsion bars. It does have the adjustable uh, torsion bars, so make sure when you glue these parts that you're making sure all they're all in proper alignment or the bogey wheels will be off. And working on the back end of the vehicle, <coughs> you have a nice support in the middle to hold the hull up because the turret's kind of heavy the tools, components, hatches, parts like that. It has the uh, multi-sectional track build-up set up here with the bars in the middle and then the two pieces that glue together over the top. Um, they say you sometimes you can snap them together but definitely you're going to need to glue these to make them hold properly. Continue on your tow cable, set up the armor plating supplemental there. Then you get into the uh, main gun, the turret assembly. They have two different types of baskets. You've got the uh, Netherlands or Dutch version basket or the standard Bundeswehr version. And then same with the machine gun, you can put it on the uh, Dutch or Netherlands version here or the Bundeswehr MG machine gun. It's a pretty simple building the turret, not a lot of components go to it, that's that. And they have your spruce sheet set up here, your PE sheets and that, and then they go into the paint schemes. You've got your uh, later Bundeswehr version with the camouflage, the uh, standard NATO tricolor, then you go into the uh, Netherlands and or Dutch uh, forces here. Uh, they did send these to Afghanistan also and they show the paint scheme there for there. So this is going to be the supplemental armor. Uh, you can see the different pieces that go within that. Uh, they're black on the actual vehicle and they're made of rubber. So when you go to do this, as I had said before, uh, build the model, paint it all, but add these on after. It'll make your adding your camel pattern underneath a lot easier to do and then painting these black. This is going to be your turret. You can see the uh, attachment points for the supplemental armor here. Throughout it, along with some of the hatches, the detail on this is really clean and nice. Uh, definitely uh, Ming did a good job here. The overall look is really nice and impressive. This is going to be your axles. Um, a little bit of sprue to take off, not much a big deal. A little bit of cleanup in here and here, but uh, pretty straightforward and simple. There's a little locking portion in the back so that you can position it to where it's supposed to be, but be advised that that's just not quite 100% tight, so you'll get a little bit of flex. So make sure when you're gluing this that you have these all positioned properly and let them cure properly, or it'll end up all out of whack. On this spruce sheet you're going to see the main gun, part of the main gun, and some of the hatches that go on the turret along with your MG machine gun, uh, some uh, periscopes, and uh, different access points. 
along with your smoke discharge. This sheet's going to have your side skirts, the bottom portion of your turret, the front of the main gun. You have two options. You can either have the main gun exposed or you can have the uh, cover put on it. Um, you have your hatches, uh, guard rails for your uh, basket and um, some of the loading portion that goes on the back of the vehicle along with steps and hatches. The spruce sheet will be part of your bogey wheel drive sprockets, um, some other different parts that go on the vehicle along with the suspension for the small bogey wheels that go on the top portion and your smoke grenades. You'll have two of this spruce sheet. Here you're going to see your bogey wheels. Uh, there's two spruce sheets. You've got the front and the back of these. Um, they have a lock to uh, make sure they're in the right position. Uh, but uh, pretty straightforward as far as the overall look. You've got a real good clear uh, interior with the locking nuts. The rubber portion and the metal ring is really uh, clean and nice looking. Along with some of the caps that go on the uh, ends of some of the wheels. Here you're going to see your uh, MG machine gun mount, some of the basket mounting along with one of the rear fenders and then some of the other components within that fender setup. Here you're going to see some more of your tools, some more of the rear uh, fenders depending on which version you're building, uh, your follow me uh, marker, other portions of the loading components of the vehicle and then the lower chassis parts, shovels, parts and things like that. The other neat thing this kit does is it also, if you wanted to, it gives you the snow cleats that you can add to the build if you want to and they have their little X pattern on the front to give them uh, traction in ice. Here you're going to see the lower hull. It comes in two sections um, and then you'll have a back section which is a smaller part. Uh, a little bit of cleanup inside the turret. Uh, other than that it's pretty nice and clean. Um, the uh, non-skid plating here is very subtle but uh, well defined. Once it's painted it jumps up really good but at the same time doesn't look out of scale. Um, you've got uh, your engine block area here and different parts. Pretty uh, simple vehicle but the uh, plastic is really nice quality and turns out real nice. Here you're going to see the uh, little rubber grommets that hold the bogey wheels on. This is for the barrel. Um, and then inside this plastic protection is your clear PE parts which will be your periscopes, your uh, turn signals, um, some of the reflectors for the uh, back end and then there's a couple of windows in the uh, turret area that are here along with your uh, warning beacon that goes on the back of the vehicle. This model comes with a metal barrel. You're going to have the tip of the barrel here which you can add that part for either covered or uncovered and then you have the canvas area here where the barrel can uh, recoil and then it goes down into the actual internal parts of the turret in this area here. Uh, really good quality, uh, clean cast. Um, the way they've done this is nice with the plastic added on so that you the details you would see that are hard to cast out of metal they're made out of plastic so it gives a real high quality finish. Here's going to be your bags with your tracks. You'll have your uh, rod that goes in between each component, the uh, part of the track that touches the bogey wheel, and then the part that sits on the ground in here. Um, pretty simple to cut out. They're supposed to be a non-gluing type device where they snap together, but I've done that. Glue them, they won't fall apart on you. So here's going to be your decal setup. You're going to have your Bundeswehr and the Netherlands for the Dutch version. Uh, the different license plates configurations you can either they either that or have the license plates covered up along with the uh, different markings your different mar markings for the army your weight scale and then your Afghanistan stickers uh, ISF all that the decals themselves are really clear good quality uh, absolutely no issues they're actually a nice thin decal so uh, once placed on the vehicle they sh do a good job they don't look odd, they look like real paint, real nice quality there. It's going to be your two PE sheets, you're going to have your baskets, the two different versions you can build along with some of the other uh, ventilation devices and then this is going to be some PE sheets to uh, supplement some of the different points on the vehicle to dress it up a little bit. You get your reflect reflector uh, 
here mounts, license plate mounts, and uh, bumpers and lights, things like that. So this is going to be the completed build. Um, you can see the overall quality of the model. It goes together really good. I didn't have any issues with assembly. Um, everything fit properly. Uh, no real challenges. It's it's there's a lot of parts. It's not real complicated, but it's not your more advanced models. Uh, pretty simple vehicle, um, but uh, definitely it looks really nice once completed. Uh, you've got you know your headlights and different components. This part moves up and down. You can position this um, over on the side or however it is. The hatches do open uh, on the vehicle itself. The barrel does uh, move up and down, but this is that part I talked about. You've got to watch how you install it or you'll limit how high up the barrel can go. The uh, turret does transition and turn. And looking at the overall quality, you've got the windows in the uh, different locations, hatches, uh, little handles you add on to definitely dress it up because they're not just a cast design. The uh, tail lights, different components here, your emergency beacon in the back, antennas, the, the uh, protective armor plates, the overall insignias, decals, things like that. Anyway, nice model, nice build, definitely highly recommended uh, kit. Uh, I've built this one and the Revell one, both pretty decent. This is a lot nicer quality though. Um, definitely uh, worth the money. You can do a lot with it. The, uh, as I said before, the uh, wheels actually move. So if you want to put it on a diorama or something, you can do things like that. It, it definitely uh, would lend itself to those types of builds. You can also put a crew in because you can do the hatches open if you want. Uh, the other one I'm going to build, I'm probably going to end up doing it that way. I think it'll look real sharp. Um, and you can add the camouflage netting and things like that. Like I said, this is not weathered, but it uh, has the surface that definitely has a lot of ways to weather it up and make it look really sharp. Um, so anyway, that's the uh, review. Great model, great finished product, uh, very happy with it. Uh, please like and subscribe, hit the bell, uh, very important. If you have any questions or comments, they're always welcome. Please uh, reach out to me on Facebook uh, or you can email me. Other than that, everybody take care. See you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.